Hey, Copper Nerds, I hate to even put this out on the channel, and I might not, but I'm going to make a video waxing this particular Ground Find Sheldon 28, which has mildly granular surfaces. The reverse is worse than the obverse, and uh, the result is just sort of an inconsistent sheen, but uh, we're going to put a little bit of wax on it and see how it looks. And again, just because the numismatic community is weird about what copper people do with copper things, I might not publish it, but we'll see. Let's get into it. So I own several coins that have been waxed by previous owners. Dr. Sheldon himself used to apply wax to the coins in his collection. I'm not telling you whether you should or should not. Remember, you're the curator of your coins in your collection. But what I'm doing is just a light application of, but a light but even application of wax with my fingers to the surface on both sides. And you're going to let it set up a little bit. The wax itself says that you apply it and then that it dries instantly, which, uh, you know, it doesn't, and that it needs some light buffing. All right, so wax has been applied. You can see that it's setting up there on the obverse. I have a brush that I only use for wax. So what's left on my fingers, I'm putting back on the brush. Doesn't take a whole lot, but just with some light back and forth while I am rotating the coin with my fingers, we are applying wax. This brush has been cleaned and only has wax on it and I uh, haven't used it much. So if it does get dirty, I'll clean it, but I'm going to keep one brush separate for wax from the one that I use for oil. A look at it you can see it's starting to even up that sheen a little bit now from talking with some conservationists who you know they'll discuss some basics about their methods but they're not going to tell you exactly what they do a lot of it is technique um, anyway at least one conservationist that I talked to who does use wax on occasion he also uh, goes through a process to sort of dull down and mat the, the finish after he has polished up the wax and uh, I haven't explored that type of a technique, nor have I done so myself. And uh, I don't do this to any coins that have nice hard surfaces or smooth surfaces. Only a coin that came out of the ground that has a granular surface do I think that this is an appropriate method. But again, you have to live with what you do to your coins. You're the curator. You make the right decisions for the longevity of the coin. And if you make it worse, that's on you. That's your bad. I'm not telling you to do anything to your coins. I'm just showing you what I do to mine. Now this Sheldon 28 was not a particularly great looking coin before. And uh, I think there's improvement here. Opinions can certainly vary. And uh, I am of the opinion that a dug coin with rough surfaces, take a look at what it looks like there. That's looking a lot better than what it looked like before, I think. But let's take a look there. Let's see what happens. So again, I'm rotating the coin in my fingers. You can see it's starting to pick up some sheen there. And that is going to even out. This reverse was very uneven in terms of the sheen that it had, where some of the corrosion was a little more aggressive than other areas of the reverse. After it was removed, it left some areas smoother than others. However, the wax appears to be evening most of that out. We'll do this a little longer and then decide if we need to put one more layer on the reverse. I think the obverse is going to be fine. Yeah, the obverse does look nice and even. And I see a couple of areas. I'm going to give it a little more time on the reverse. 
but in those areas that did have a little more aggressive corrosion damage, it's not quite as even. And yeah, I'm gonna throw in a little bit more. Just on the reverse, the obverse looks fine to me. Particularly there. That was really the spot, a little bit there by you and United. Give it a second to set up. Again, finger, finger wax excess onto the brush. And we'll work it a little more. I don't know how many times I can say that I'm not telling you to do this to any of your coins. However, I'm showing you what my technique is for when I decide to wax a problem coin that has rough surfaces as the result of having been buried. There are no original surfaces on this coin. There's no original toning. Nothing's original about it. It went into the ground, corroded, was conserved by someone at some point in history, and it left us with a black, lightly granular surface. And check out that obverse again. And it really does look improved to me. Reverse. The United area is looking pretty good. I still don't love right there. Again, just a touch more wax on that area. And let's see if this will do the job. Have I said that I'm not telling you to do this to your coins? By the way, I'm not telling you to do this to your coins. Now, if you think that I've ruined this coin, don't do it to your coins. I don't need to hear about it in the comments. I don't care if this upsets you. It's not your coin, it's mine. And again, I'm not telling anyone to do this to any of their coins either. Yeah, I think it might be filling in now. In my experience, sometimes it takes a lot of brushing to get that wax evenly buffed and with even coverage. It's taken a while though, huh? And it is evening. Yep, it is definitely evening out from where we were before this third application for the reverse. You can definitely see our details better than before. Obverse looks quite nice, quite nice. Just a little more back here. I don't think it's going to be perfectly uniform, but far, far more uniform than when we had started. Yeah. I can do with this. I can live with this. Quite the improvement. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go just a little bit longer as I'm seeing minor improvement as I keep going. I'm gonna go with that. Look at all the hair shedding off my brush onto the desktop. All right. 
Sheldon 28. Looking much better. I appeal for me for a Doug coin. Again, I would not be doing this if the coin had nice, smooth, hard surfaces. But a black coin that came out of the ground was not a beauty queen and is certainly improved. All right. Thanks for checking this out. I'll talk to some of you in the comments. If you had nothing nice to say, um, move along. Catch you in the next one. Peace.